Hong, my name is Wen Chen. I'm US-China public diplomacy specialist and the president and CEO of Worldwide Exchange Network. Today, we're going to talk about you. You are so irritating and it's all your fault mm. in a relationship. And Dr. Sean Leland is the author of the book, Lovingly Don't Feel Like It. In this chapter, you're so irritating. You talk about the negative side of relationship mm -hmm. and when people fight, when people are in different stages of relationship, they always have problems because they blame each other for for any fault. Exactly. Exactly. In your so apparently their contempt, hatred, and abuse happen mm -hmm. in relationship. So what's your recommendation for people who are going through abuse and who can't control their anger? Yes. Anger is certainly something that's really going to cause trouble in a relationship. In fact, anger is a secondary emotion, and most people don't realize that. Anger comes from fear, hurt, or frustration. And so not only it expresses itself in the relationship in a negative way. And if I can't control my anger, now don't get me wrong, when being angry is not a sin, it's not bad, it's it's anger that is uncontrolled that is bad. It, it, we all get angry. No one is immune from getting angry. Let's let's be clear about that. But when we are angry, we blame the other person. Sometimes we do, and that can cause problems. If we are blaming someone for our anger, then that can be a problem because now I'm going to project my hatred towards that person. And if it's my spouse, that's really bad. So where I'm projecting my anger is also important. Now you talked about abuse a little bit. Anger will manifest itself in emotional abuse. And a lot of people don't talk about emotional abuse. We hear about physical abuse and how we need to be cautious about physical abuse, but you don't hear much mention about emotional abuse. Emotional abuse takes a psychological toll on many. Low self-esteem, low self-determination, where people are not going forward in their lives because they feel less than. And that's because of the anger that lashes out at them from one spouse or the other, whether male or female, by the way. Anger doesn't have a gender effect. But let me say this, physical abuse that's expressed through anger generally will happen from men. Men get physical more often than women. But there are some women, I've, I've had counseling sessions where women constantly slap their husband for no reason. What is your advice for men and women who are abused in their relationship? If there is abuse, number one, you have to get help. You have to acknowledge it as a couple. You, The two of you need to sit together and say, there's something going wrong in our marriage. This is not healthy. It's going to lead to greater trouble. For instance, escalation. You push me, I push you. And then I call your name, you call me a name. And before you know it, we're at fisticuffs and the police is coming, the kids are in danger. You got to stop that. You have to get help. And the way to get help is to seek your pastor, your counselor, your social worker, your priest, someone who you need to talk about these anger issues and what is the origin of those anger issues. Where does it come from? That fear, that hurt, or that frustration? What am I frustrated about? What am I hurt about? What am I afraid of? That's an interesting one. I, anger comes from fear. I'm afraid that you're gonna leave me, so I'm gonna be angry. Or I'm afraid that I can't provide for my family financially, so I'm angry. I'm frustrated so I have general. to control you, I have to have you. I have to control you, I have to, and so then that leads to physical abuse. So I'm gonna beat you so I can hold you down. Or emotional abuse. And that, that term escalation is a danger sign in communication that often arises in an, in an angry relationship. Escalation means it spirals up. And so you say to me, for instance, when you say, well, you didn't take out the trash. And I come back and I say, well, you stay home all day. You stay home. Did. How come you didn't take out the trash? And before you know it, we're no longer talking about the trash. And I say, you know what? You are lazy. You are at home. I just called your name. You're lazy. And you're irresponsible. And I'm irresponsible. And then before you, I should have never married you. Communication. Exactly. 
And that's what communication, unhealthy communication looks like. It, it spirals out of control. We get angry. But here's the point. Right now, we're just calling each other's name, uh, each other names. But what happens with many couples, it doesn't stop there. It goes to the physical violence. It goes to immers emotional slander where I'm hurting the person with words that really destroy. And that's what anger does. Well, let's go back to the origin of this problem, the mm -hmm. cause of this problem, anger. How do you control anger? Well, the only way I believe you can control anger is through getting help. You, you have to find that source. Remember I said fear, hurt, or frustration. So what is the source? What is the cause of the anger in a relationship, whether male or female? Get counseling. It may be couples counseling, but it could very well also be individual counseling that's needed to control the anger. You cannot eliminate anger. Remember, anger is not bad, but we can mitigate anger. Anger just needs to be controlled. It, it, you cannot, you know, conflict is natural in your relationship. You're gonna have conflict. Remember, John Gottman coined the phrase, it is not conflict that destroys the relationship, it is how we handle the conflict. And so I just wanna tell our viewers out there that if you have an anger problem, confront yourself, seek help. And in my book, In Loving When You Don't Feel Like It, I talk about how we can overcome anger and there's some steps in the back of the chapter on you're so irritating that can help couples deal with and begin to process the origins of anger and, 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 and how it manifests in their relationship and then in their individual lives. So what can you do when there's anger and abuse in your relationship? So Dr. Nayland has a very, very specific examples and uh, explanations of what you can do in his book. Thank you, Dr. Nayland, for Thank joining you. us. Outstanding.